Now in my last video, I spoke briefly about my sliding divider, my bulkhead, um, and I mentioned that I was going to cover it in a fake uh, wood effect wallpaper. Now another YouTuber, Holistic Healing, I think that's how it's pronounced. <laughs> check, feel free to check out her channel. She thought I was going to use uh, wood chip. I said no, 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 but I'll I'll show you tomorrow. So this is for you. I'm going to spin you around. Now that it's done, I can show you what it looks like. So there we go. That's me sliding bulkhead in all its glory, and it's now finished. So I've finished off. I've sealed the gap at the top. I've simply put some more cladding across there, made it cut it to fit. As you can see, I don't know if I can get the camera high enough for that. But now my bulkhead completely sealed off. Um, but in the event of an emergency, or well, it's raining and I don't want to go outside to get to the front, I can simply unclip it, slide it down, and it's only tight because the headrests, the driver's headrest is up against it. But I like it like that, it stops it dropping down, it'll drop down really fast otherwise. So I've got the headrest on the driver's seat, just pressing against it, stops it dropping down really fast. But anyway, if it is raining outside, I'll still dive through, get to the driver's seat, and get to work without getting wet. <laughs> That's the idea. And when it's up, I'm now cut off from the outside world. And if it's cold outside, because it's really thick, it's insulated, stays nice and warm in here and again in the summer it stops that greenhouse effect with all the heat coming into the living area so fingers crossed it should stay relatively cool if I'm parked in the shade that's the idea anyway <laughs> so that's what I've been doing today so now my bulkhead's finished I can actually test my heater to see if I can draw air from outside into the living space via the cab and the air ducts that's the idea anyway so then the air is flowing through and out my vent in the roof so i've got a constant supply of nice clean fresh air and it stops hopefully stops some condensation forming i know it won't stop all the condensation because the sliding door is metal it's got glass on it i'm gonna get condensation on there i know but at least if i'm getting fresh air coming in hopefully it'll keep it to a minimum now a friend of mine has got um well he hasn't, he's got these smoke pellets because he's a chimney sweep he, sleep, he sweeps chimneys and he uses these smoke pellets to uh test the chimneys aren't blocked like with bird's nests and stuff so what i'm going to try and do i'm going to try and track him down see if i can borrow one of these smoke pellets well not borrow it it's not like i can give it back <laughs> see if i can use one of these smoke pellets I'm going to put it outside the van, near the vents in the grill, just to see if the air is drawn in with my heater, the fan in the heater, I've got one of those diesel heaters in case you didn't know, for those people that haven't seen the previous videos, and I want to see if it can draw the air in from outside through the heater and then up and out through the vent. But I need to speak to him first and ask his advice because <laughs> I don't want my van ending up smelling the smoke because it smells a bit smoky in here anyway after yesterday's little stunt. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's what I plan to do to try and demonstrate the airflow through the van. I think it's the only way I can do it is to actually uh, use smoke. You can see where the air is flowing then. Fingers crossed again. <laughs> There's a lot of finger crossing going on lately. <laughs> But yeah, that's my plans anyway. I need to track him down first and pick a day when it's not raining because at the moment it has to stop raining. It was actually snowing this morning as well. So that's for the future anyway, just to put those doubters' minds. You know, I've had some negative comments about this system that I've set up, so I'll, I'll do a whole video about it and go into it in more detail. Hopefully, it'll put those doubters' minds to rest. <laughs> I rather like that wallpaper. I'm sitting here looking at it and I'm thinking, I do like that. I, that's, that's turned out much better than I thought it would. So I might, in fact, I've got this left. I've got all this left over. I might actually use this on the rest of the, the doors because I've still got this door to fill in. The bottom of the sliding door is just a plain plywood sheet on it. And the back of the doors as well. Even though I'm going to, I do intend putting curtains across there. I still might chuck a bit of this on those two panels as well just to give it a bit of colour I rather like it 
Yeah, it's just occurred to me that is whilst looking at that. <laughs> Let me know what you think. And maybe, well, I, I mean, I've had a lot of response about this budget build that I've got this idea rattling around in my head about doing a budget van build. And a lot of people have said, yeah, do it, do it. So, uh, yeah, but I'm going to have to wait till the end of the month because obviously I'm a bit skint after spending all my savings on this van. So I need to raise some funds, I need to do some work before I can do the budget van build. But I think that wallpaper, that, yeah, that would look quite nice, even on all the walls. Like instead of using cladding, I'll use the really thin plywood, the ply liner, what normal vans have, and then just cover it in this and make it look like recycled wood. I think that'll look rather nice. I'll have to go and get some more of this. Yeah, it's got to be cheaper than using this cladding. So I'll save that for me budget van build when I finally get around to doing it. But like I say, that is going to have to wait until, yeah, possibly the end of next month. Yeah, February, maybe, yeah, around about February, because I don't think you'll get much of a van for less than a grand. Any less than a thousand pound, I think we're going to get a real shed of a van. So I'll need at least a grand to buy the van in the first place. Yeah, and possibly I'll try and set a budget around about sort of between five hundred pound and a thousand pound to convert it if I can. But we'll see. Time will tell. I think I will do it um, because I've had, like I said, I've had a lot a positive response about doing a budget van build. So we'll we'll set the budget around about two and a half. Yeah, two two and a half grand. See if we can build a camper for that. I don't see why not. Maybe even cheaper. We'll see. Time will tell. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just rambling on now. Um, what else have I got to tell you? That's it. I've got to get to work. Time's ticking. So, uh, oh, it's raining as well. I'm get wet. Yeah. So, I'm going to wrap this video up. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Um, feel free to comment. Please do comment. I enjoy your comments. And, uh, yeah, feel free to subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Ta-la for now. And thanks for watching.